I had a client come to us recently who was going to attend a wedding and he didn't want to wear the typical blue navy uh, or gray solid suit that, you know, everybody's going to wear. He wanted to be different, but he didn't want to overshadow the groom and he didn't want to be too loud. So he asked me, what are some, you know, things you recommend for me to do so that, you know, I can make myself look a little bit different, but not different enough to where it's too loud. So here's three things that I recommended. Number one is going to be shoes. Now, most guys, when it comes to a wedding, don't have a pair of shoes around, especially a pair of dress shoes around that they can wear. So what they end up doing is they end up going to the store and picking up something like this. Why? Because it's safe. It's easy to wear. And most of the time, that's the kind of shoe that every guy's going to be wearing. So how can you be different? By picking up something like this, a nice pair of loafers is different enough. And you can either go with suede or leather. Now, it doesn't have to be loafers, but any other pair of shoe that's more interesting is definitely going to change the vibe of the suit. And not make it look so plain compared to something like this, which is not bad. You know, this is a safe a safe uh, thing. But he, again, he wanted to be a little bit more different compared to, you know, what everybody else was going to be wearing. Number two, I told him accessories. You can wear a pocket square if you're going to wear a tie. Choose a tie with some texture on it with a cool pattern. Wear some jewelry, a nice watch. You know, those little things like that, they make a huge difference. I feel like those are the little cherry on top of the ice cream sundae. They just finish the outfit, complete the outfit. Number three is cloth. When it comes to cloth, depending if you're going custom or not, but choose something with a subtle pattern. You know, there's suits out there that are, you know, when you look at them from far away, they look like they're a navy or a gray, but when you get up close, you can see that there's a pattern in there, very subtle. Also, you can go with something with some texture. Something like this, you can see that it's solid, but it has a nice texture. Yeah, so those are the three ways where, you know, you can stand out and be different, but not different enough to where you're going to be too loud. You know, uh, definitely use these tips if you want to make your outfit look more interesting.